what is going on everybody i am back with a brand new video and today we're testing out a 13 speed driver from latitude 64 the strive now 13 speed seems a little fast but i had a few of you guys wanting me to try this out saying that you were getting some beautiful flights out of it i did throw it a handful of times yesterday and first impressions were really good the flight numbers are 13 5 negative 1 3 same as a nuke but this thing flies a little less stable than a nuke allowing for some good distance my thought is we'll play nine holes at ortho fisher we'll skip around to the longer holes so that it makes sense for the strive and just kind of show you what flights i'm getting out of it how far i'm throwing it and uh, all the good stuff here so hopefully we play well and we're going to start here on hole two 530 feet par four ob long grass i'm sure you guys know the hole a little windy today we got a nice right to left wind on this one. Oh wow flippy there and the wind just kind of pushes that down kind of a shocking first flight out of a 13 speed negative one driver but i think the wind had a lot to do with that because when it did flip up and start turning that right to left wind is just going to beat down on the flight plate i guess i should have filmed a couple of my first throws with it but yesterday i just couldn't believe how well this disc flipped up to flat and just kept going i think that was awesome because it's not like i get that out of a typical 13 speed driver Oh, I like that a lot. Hopefully all day consists of these birdies. Tap-ins where I don't have to putt. That would be ideal. This next one we'll play is a monster. It's like 400 feet uphill around the corner. I can't really get to this basket, but if we have a good shot with this drive, it'll really show us how far it's capable of going. I'm hoping for a nice hyzer flip up that just keeps pushing left. I think the flip up will allow it to get a little extra distance, but I still need it to go left. <sighs> Oh, if it was under that branch. That was almost really good. I needed to get it a little lower. This is actually still really good. I could probably be an extra, I don't know, 50 feet if I didn't hit that branch, but it got through it pretty well. I'll try to give this a little bit of a run, but I'm not sure how this will look. Ah, a little low. First couple, a little rough. Haven't really shown you the true flight of this thing. Hole one, I do think was good for you guys to see because you could start to see that turn. The wind just kind of screwed us there. Hole two is always a par. I could have uh, missed that tree, but it is what it is. So let's try to start our day here on hole four. 465 feet. They call it a par four. I'm going to try to hyzer flip this up the middle and see what kind of distance we can get. <laughs> there you go. That's the flight oh my gosh oh my gosh that is what i was doing with it yesterday and that is amazing the short pin is 370 and that is behind the short pin so you know that i just threw it at least 370 should make our approach really easy on the short par four here i didn't feel right saying this before because I hadn't thrown a great shot with it. But yesterday when I was throwing it well, I was basically thinking to myself, it's a 13 speed for kind of us amateur arms because it's fast, but it's not too stable, but it's not super understable. It's like that perfect in between where you can get S flights out of it uh, and you don't have to like throw your arm out while doing it. This is my first ever chance at Eagle on this hole. <sighs> come on, come on. I really wish we got that eagle. If you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me. Road to 7K. Let's get it. We'll get there soon enough. And with your help, we'll get there sooner. Moving on to hole four for us. Par four, 485. Uh, we have a bit of a headwind, which kind of scares me a little bit. We also have OB on the right side, road and beyond. I think I'm just going to try to give this a little extra hyzer just to account for the wind and we'll see what happens <laughs> oh it really didn't play with it oh that's unfortunate i decided that i'm just gonna throw it again for you guys hopefully get a better flight seems like it makes sense <laughs> that's better this is a pretty typical spot for me to land just hyzer out a little too soon so if i got this out a little flatter maybe i would have gotten that turn pushed a little bit further <sighs> pulled that a little but that's gonna be an easy putt we'll just call this a bonus hole as i walk to the next hole that i actually want to play only 320 <sighs> 
Look at that flip up, guys. It's so easy. This is the hole I really wanted to play. Hole 10, we'll call it hole five for us. 475, par four. I'm gonna try to get this thing out a little flatter this time. I think I'm putting it on a little too much hyzer so I'm not getting a full flight out of it. And uh, obviously it's a new disc, so it's just experimental at this point. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, okay, that was, that was not what we wanted. I'm gonna get that again. Maybe we need to put it on a little hyzer or I got over on that too much. Yes, there it is. Slightly nose up. Probably a lot nose up. But the hyzer was a lot better there. In my opinion, this is like the worst place to be for this approach. I've been throwing only backhands, so the water comes into play a little bit more. So we'll try to be a little touchy, and it kind of played out, but still left it a little short. Going for my uh, second re t birdie here, which aren't actually birdies, but makes us feel better. That was a good putt. Now we can move on to this bomber. 675 feet, slightly downhill. Again, try to throw the slight hyzer with this, get the full distance potential. Hopefully this one isn't too nose up. Ah, oh, just got the flat. Get through that tree. Yes, that's actually kind of big. I wonder if that hit the 400s. I think I have my range finder with us. I feel like this is about where I landed yesterday, actually. Very similar shot. 406 to the tee pad, so not too bad. When I landed here yesterday, I just went over top of everything. That's what I'm gonna try to do today. <laughs> oh, that's gonna flip up too much. Wow, I threw that so high. Threw it a little too high, and because of the flip up, since I didn't get it on enough hyzer, didn't wanna keep pushing, it just kind of like flipped up in the sky and went straight up and straight down. <sighs> Left it short. Twice. Hole seven, 335 out into the field where it gets a little bit more windy. Feels kind of like a slight headwind, but nothing too dangerous here. <laughs> oh, it just flips up too much. Need more hyzer. <sighs> the thing is so straight. The flip ups are incredible. I feel like one of these are bound to go in. Why not this one? <sighs> Why not this one? You know, sometimes you just have that feeling. Hole 8, 630, long bomber. You know the drill. <sighs> ah, every time I just throw it slightly nose up, and that really hurts my distance and turn. I'm going to try to go putter here. I don't know if I can get it there. I think I can, but it's the only approach disc that I have. <sighs> ah, too low. We get it there if we throw it higher. That should have dropped more in the tailwind. Last one we're gonna play here, hole nine, par four, 470. This should be a great disc for the hole. Flip it up, probably flips up to flat, goes dead straight. <laughs> oh, there's some turn. Wow, maybe because the wind is just crushing it. That was down, up, side to side. The wind was really messed with that. <sighs> Perfect. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me and the Strive, at least for this video. I want to do more videos with this disc, so if you have any comparisons or ideas that you want to see, let me know down in the comments. Really, today was just trying to figure this thing out a little bit more. I had an issue putting it two nose up and also just finding the right angle, so I think give me a little bit more time and we figure those things out and get some really good distances with this thing. I think the Strive has a lot of potential for me. I just have to, you know, actually um, learn it. Anyway, guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one.